Hello, this is Paul from First Attack. In this video, let's prove theorem 4.6.3, uh, which is a plus and the minus theorem. Uh, we have two parts. The first part A we call plus, and the part B we call minus. Okay, so A says uh, if S is a linearly independent set and the V is a vector that's uh, outside of the span of S. Then we can plus, okay? See, so we can plus v to the original set and this set, the big set. Okay, after the insert the new vector that's here, linearly independent. That's a plus, and the b is a minus. So minus says if v is a vector in a set of vectors. Uh, v is a linear combination of the other vector in S, and therefore we can minus. Okay, we can minus the vector v from or delete it away from uh, S. What do we get? We still get the span after the delete or after minus is the same as before. Okay, uh, this theorem is important for us. Now, let me show a simple example, a small example, uh, show the idea how to prove the theorem. I will not give an example to prove it, just the idea. See, here is the example. Uh, the first figure, so it's just A, that's a plus theorem. The second uh, is a minus theorem. So let's look at it, the example A, so plus. What does this mean? This means that if we have two vectors, see, span, and then another vector is outside of the span of the first two, and then we put these three together, so they are linearly independent. So let me see. Uh, if this is a V1, uh, V2, and V3, so first v1 v2 are linearly independent okay and then the second v3 does not belong to the span and it is two condition and then we have the conclusion if we add that plus so if we add the three to uh, v3 to v1 and v2 so the three vector form together they are linearly independent okay so this is the first let's see why so we need to prove uh, this is the first a plus. Um, so what is the second? So we will prove this a little later. What is the minus? So minus is this. Suppose we have uh, v1, v2, and v3. Okay. So look at this. v1, v2 are form a space, and then v3 exactly is the inside of the space or the span, right? So V3 is a linear combination. V3 uh, is a linear combination of V1 and V2. And then we can minus, so we minus this V3. So therefore, uh, the spin, they are the same. Okay, so this is the minus. We will see why this is true. Now let's look at the first okay. uh, plus. <clears throat> v1, v2 are linear independent, v3 does not belong to v1, v2. Why? v1, v2, v3 after the plus, so they are linearly independent. Um, this is not a difficult to prove. We only need uh, the previous theorem. We set up a linear system and then solve for the coefficient. See, why? Um, we can set up. Uh, easy equation, let's say. Okay, and then we solve for the linear coefficient. Uh, we need to prove a linearly independent that means what? It means uh, we should get all zero, right? Which is zero solution. Is this? So the first uh, we can find uh, v k3 should be a zero. Why? k3 is zero. Why? Uh, because if k3 is not a zero, so we can solve for v3. 
Therefore, V3 is a linear combination of V1, V2. But uh, V3 does not belong to the span. So V3 should be not a linear combination, right? So therefore, K3 should be zero. Okay, it's a bit easy, right? Uh, otherwise, okay. So otherwise, V3 belongs to the span of V1, V2. So K3 is zero. And then uh, we look at it. Uh, we have uh, this equation, right? And because v1, v2 is linearly independent, so we look at the original. v1, v2 is linearly independent. Then we put here. Okay. And therefore, we have this. Uh, we have the coefficient should be zero, right? So this. And that's DRM 4.1. 4 .4 okay. <clears throat> Um, what do we get? So we get a K3 is 0, K1 is 0, K2 is 0. So therefore, or the coefficient of this linear system is 0. And by the theorem 4.4.1, uh, V1, V2, V3 should be linearly independent, right? See? And this is the first part. And that's the, the symbol proof for the plus. Okay, so now look at the second. Okay, minus. Uh, a little bit different. Can you see here the minus theorem? Uh, example of the minus theorem. V1, V2 span. And if V3 uh, belongs to the span, right? Or we say V3 is a linear combination of V1 and V2. So therefore, after we minus V3, the span is the same. Hmm, why? Why the spin is the same, and this uh, we have a theorem before, it's 4.3.2. So how do you say, how do you determine the two set of vectors spend the same space? Okay. Uh, we only need to verify, and the, any vector on this set is a linear combination of the other. And then also, uh, any vector on the second set is a linear combination of the first. We use linear combination. And it's super easy, we get a result. And that this should be true. This is true. We just apply the theorem. 4.3.2 uh, is linear co a combination. Okay. And that theorem says uh, if any vector is a linear combination of the other set, okay, so uh, the span should be the same. Can we just look at the detail? V1 is the linear combination of this. So the coefficient 1, 0, 0. V2 is the same. 0, uh, 0, 1, and 0. And then we look backwards. V3. Okay. V1 is a linear combination of V1, V2. V2 is also a linear combination of V1, V2. How about V3? And we have, see, V3 is a linear combination of V1 and V2, right? So the only one we need to verify is this. But this V3 is a linear combination because, okay, because V3 is a linear combination of V1, V2. Is that true? Okay, so therefore we also prove the second and minus. So that's the proof for this theorem. Thank you.